Winston, come. Good boy. Crate. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys some crate training tips because this is exactly what I'm working on with Winston right now. He has hit the teenage phase, so we lost a little bit of progress. So I thought this would just be a perfect opportunity to show you guys what worked for me and could potentially work for you. Before you even think about putting your dog inside the crate, make sure that one, they've gone potty because if they start whining, you don't want to confuse that for them having to go to the bathroom where in reality, it's them just being confined in the space. And two, that you've exercised them physically and mentally, especially mentally because physically their body is gonna be confined, but mentally their mind could be running a mile a minute. The tool that you're gonna to need to use in this exercise is either a high value treat or his food. Personally, I like to use his food and we've recently switched him over to raw. He goes absolutely bananas for this. So how do you even lure your dog inside the crate? As you can see, it's gonna be really easy for me. But for you, you're gonna have to use a treat. And what I do, Winston, is you just throw the treat or the food or whatever it is to the back of the crate. And once he gets to the back of the crate and eats it, he's gonna turn around. And when he does that, you feed him again. So let's do it. Bam. So he's in the crate. And at this point, you would feed him again with a treat or his food yes so once your dog is in this relaxed state you're then going to feed him once wait a second feed him again and then double that second feed him again and so on and so forth until you reach about a minute so it's going to look something like this yes one yes one two if your dog ever gets up, you're just gonna lure them back down to that relaxed state and you're gonna restart over again. I just bring the food down and I don't give in. Once he goes down, bam, yes. Now you may have noticed, I haven't even closed the door on Winston yet. Once you're able to achieve him being in a relaxed state for a good amount of time, then you can start closing the door. And then you're just gonna repeat the process again. So I'm gonna wait a second, yes. Feed him some food. Yes. So once you've got this, the door is locked, your dog is in a calm state, it's time to kick it up a notch. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take the food, go to another room, wait one second, and then come back, give them a food, and you're just gonna repeat this process, right? You're gonna wait two seconds next time, come back, give them food. It's all a process, it's long, it's boring, but guess what? It is so beneficial for your dog and for you. This is how you're gonna manage them when you go outside and you just can't trust your dog around the house, you're gonna put them in a crate and you wanna make sure that they are safe, you wanna make sure they are calm and they're quiet. I need you guys to realize that this is a marathon, it's not a sprint. So don't worry if you don't get progress the first time you start crate training your dog. It took me a while to get for him to be in this state. Now this may look simple and at its core it is pretty simple, but there are other factors like your dog may start howling and barking and just going absolutely crazy. What you don't wanna do is if this happens, do not let your dog out. If you do that, then your dog thinks, hey, every time I make a bark, a noise, I just complain, my owner's gonna let me out. So you don't want that. You only let them out when they're in a calm state. And lastly, a really important thing is to not make this such a big ordeal when you're putting your dog inside of the crate or outside of the crate. You want this to be as neutral as possible. When you take them out, don't say, oh my God, you're such a good puppy. You did such a great job, hooray. Because if you do that, you're gonna bring their energy level up. And this is not what we want. We want it to be as neutral as possible. In fact, what I do throughout the day, I just leave the crate door open for him because then he has the choice of going in or out whenever he wants to. But of course, when it's time to go in, he knows it's time to go in like I showed you at the beginning of the video. 